Hi. I'm uh, currently doing, I'm doing a project where I'm doing a cold reading of the New Testament, and I finished Romans uh, chapter 15 and 16 um, using a different Bible. Um, is using the name, so I've been reading the New um, New King James Version up until now, and, and I got rid of that Bible I happened to. And so now I'm going to finish out Romans 15 and 16 using my uh, this Bible, which I got from my pastor Dave in Seattle. And it's the parallel study Bible he gave me. It's the New Living Translation. So we're going to start with Romans, uh, finish up Romans 15 and 16. So continuing from there. Romans 15. Put other people first. We who are strong must be considerate of those who are sensitive about things like this. We must not just please ourselves. We should help others do what is right and build them up in the Lord. For even Christ didn't live to please himself. As the scriptures say, the insults of those who insult you, O God, have fallen on me. Such things, such things were written in the scriptures long ago to teach us, and the scriptures give us hope and encouragement as we wait patiently for God's promises to be fulfilled. May God, who gives this patience and encouragement, help you live in complete harmony with each other, as it is fitting for followers of Christ Jesus. Then all of you can join together with one voice, giving praise and glory to God, the Father of our Lord, Jesus Christ. Receive one another. Therefore, accept each other just as Christ has accepted you, so that God will be given glory. Remember that Christ came as a servant to the Jews to show that God is true to the promises he made to their ancestors. He also came so that the Gentiles might give glory to God for his mercies to them. This is what the psalmist meant when he wrote, for this I will praise you among the Gentiles. I will sing praises to your name. And it is in another place it is written, Rejoice with his people, you Gentiles. And, and yet again, Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. Praise him, all you people of the earth. And in another place, Isaiah said, The heir to David's throne will come and he will rule over the Gentiles. They will place their hope on him. I pray to God, the source of hope, you will. I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in him. Then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. And this is Romans 6. We're going to close it out with the closing, the letter closing. Paul's ministry and travel plans. Oh, I'm fully convinced, my dear brothers and sisters, that you are full of goodness. You know these things so well, you can teach each other all about them. Oh, 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 even so, I have been bold enough to write about some of these points, knowing that all you need is this reminder. Oh, it's still in five. No, but that's... Oh. I am a special messenger from Christ Jesus to you Gentiles. I bring you the good news that I might present you as an acceptable offering to God, made holy by the Holy Spirit. So I have reason to be enthusiastic about all Christ Jesus has done through me and my service to God, yet I dare not boast about anything except what Christ has done through me bringing the Gentiles to God by my message and by the way I work with, among them. They were convinced by the power of miraculous signs and wonders and by the power of God's Spirit. In this way, I have fully presented the good news of Christ from Jerusalem all the way to... <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Illyricum. My ambition has always been to preach the good news where the name of Christ has never been heard rather than where churches aren't even started by someone else. I've been following the plan spoken of in the scriptures where it says, those who have never been told about him will see and those who have never heard of him will understand. In fact, my visit to you has been delayed so long because I've been preaching in these places. But now I have uh, finished my work in these regions and after all these long years of waiting, I'm eager to visit you. I'm planning to go to Spain, and when I do, I will drop off in Rome, and after I've enjoyed your fellowship for a little while, you can provide for my journey. But before I come, I must go to Jerusalem to take a gift to the believers there, for you see, believers in Macedonia and Achaia have eagerly taken up the offerings for the poor among the believers of Jerusalem. They were glad to do this because they feel they owe a real debt to them. Since the Gentiles received the spiritual blessings of the good news from the believers in Jerusalem, they feel the least they can do is return to help them financially. And as soon as I have delivered this money and completed this good deed of theirs, I will come to see you on my way to Spain. And I am sure that when I come, Christ will richly bless our time together. 
Dear brothers and sisters, I urge you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to join in my struggle by praying to God for me through this because of your love for me given to you by the Holy Spirit. Pray that I will be received from those in Judea who refuse to obey God. Pray also that the believers there will be willing to accept the donation I'm taking to Jerusalem. Then, by the will of God, I will be able to come to you with a joyful heart and we will be encouragement to each other. And now... May God who gives us his peace be with you all. Amen. And that's Romans 15. We're going to continue on to 16. Paul greets his friends. I commend you to our sister Phoebe, who is a deacon in the church of Centria. Welcome her in the Lord as one who is worthy of her honor among God's people. Help her in whatever she needs, for she has been helpful to many, and especially to me. Give my greetings to Priscilla and Achilla. My co-workers in the ministry of Christ Jesus, uh, in fact, they once risked their lives for me. I am thankful for them, and so are all the Gentile churches. Also, give my greetings to the church that meets in their home. Greet my dear friend, Epinitus. Epinitus, he was the first person from the province of Asia to become a follower of Christ. Give my greetings to Mary, who has worked so hard for your benefit. Greet Andronicus and Junia, my fellow Jews, who were in prison with me. They are highly respected among the apostles and became followers of Christ before I did. Ooh, great Aunt Pilatus, my dear friend in the Lord. Great Urbanus, our co-worker in Christ. And my dear friend, Stachus. <laughs> great Apelles, a good man whom Christ approves. And to give my greeting to the believers from the household of Aristobulus. Oh, great Herodian my fellow Jew, and greet the Lord's people from the household of Rosicus. Give my greetings to Tryphena and uh, Tryphosis, the Lord's workers, and to dear Persis, who worked so hard for the Lord. Greet Rufus, whom the Lord picked out to be his very own, and also his dear mother, who has been a mother to me. Give my, give my greetings to Asyncritus, Phlegon, Hermes, Petrobus, Hermas, and the brothers and sisters who met them. Give my greetings to Philologus, Julia, Nereus, and his sister, and to Olympus, and all the believers who met them. Greet each other in Christian love. All the churches of Christ send you their greetings. Now, the closing remarks and doxology. And now, I make one more appeal, my dear brothers and sisters. Watch out for people who cause divisions and upset people's face by faith by teaching them things contrary to what you have been taught. Stay away from them. Such people are not serving Christ our Lord. They have been serving their own personal interests by smooth talk and glowing words. They deceive innocent people, but everyone knows that you are obedient to the Lord, and this makes me very happy. I want you to be wise in doing right and to stay innocent of any wrong. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. May the grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. <laughs> Timothy, my fellow worker, sends you his greetings. As do Lucius, Jason, and Sosipater, my fellow Jews. I, Tertius, the one writing this letter for Paul, <laughs> send my greetings to as one of the Lord's followers. Caius says hello to you. He is my host. and also serves as host to the whole church. Erastus, the city treasurer, sends you his greetings, and so does our brother Quartus. Now, all glory to God, who is able to make you strong, just as my good news says. This message about Jesus Christ has been revealed. His plan for you Gentiles, a plan kept secret from the beginning of time. Uh, but now, as the prophets foretold, <laughs> And as the eternal God has commanded, this message is made known to all Gentiles everywhere, uh, so they too might believe and obey him. All glory to the all glory to the only wise God, through Jesus Christ forever. Amen. And that is Romans. I'm sorry, I had to finish out with this Bible. The New Living Translation from my pastor, Pastor Dave, who is a preacher at his church in Seattle. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, God, I got to.